to automatically mask all the objects in an image in Photoshop. So open your image. This one I once again got from Unsplash. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to follow along. So just three dogs, so it wouldn't take too long to mask them all manually, but if you can do it quicker, why not? So if you go up to layer, you'll get an option called mask all objects. You just click that. And what it does is it uses Adobe's AI to determine which objects you'd probably want to select and creates empty groups of them. So you can see them over here now. So the white bit is the affected area. So you can see the three dogs. So what that allows you to do is you can click say the middle one, you can add a curves layer to that one. And this will only, whatever you do here will only affect the mask. So it should only affect the middle dog. You can brighter, darker, you can do any sort of adjustments you really want. And it only affects the mask. And that took like 30 seconds tops. So then from here, you can do any other adjustments you want on each individual dog. Um, you can also use the one where it automatically selects the background. So if you want the background to be lighter or darker, select the bottom one, which is usually the background. Make your changes. So you want the dogs to stand out a bit more. You would, you would decrease the brightness like that. And yeah, that's really all there is. Um, it's super easy and yeah, have fun with it. Thank you. If you want to learn how to properly mask individual objects and get them really, really perfect, um, I've got a video for you up here. Um, it'll show you how to go through the full um, masking panel, um, how to make all fine adjustments, adjust the feathering, adjust the, the, um, the borders, everything so if you want to learn about how to make a proper really precise mask click the video and yeah thank you